out to you, all our Marlene Supreme Court! Thank you so much, Marlene. with that sign language. Let me get over here with you with this sign language. <laughs> <laughs> and you know damn well you was coming out to a T.S. Madison show. And you know T.S. Madison say all kind of bad, filthy, low-down, dirty, disgusting yeah. stuff. Don't forget about your daughter over here. Oh, I ain't forgot, because I'm going to talk about you in one second. I just had to cut the music off. I had to cut the music off. Yes. I want to get on the sign language man for a second. But don't he look good, though? If I whisper something bad in your ear, would you be able to sign it? Okay, I'm not gonna do it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Queen Supreme Court! Yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oliver, hold on! Hey, you worried about music. We ain't worried about that music. We ain't worried about that. Right that camera across this stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Queen Supreme Court! Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I am so honored today to be doing this show with the lady who brought me to life. To some of you people that didn't know who I was, ladies and gentlemen, Silky Nutmeg and I. Now, I want to say this. I didn't come here. What'd you say, babe? What you say? You can't say it and I say it. What you say? You said what? Then sit with the good milk. Sit with the good milk. Yeah. What kind of good milk is it? You want to find out? Uh, listen, I already know. You showed me in the bag, but I ain't know that was milk. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, we are at DragCon 2019. Oh my God, I missed this thing in two years. Later, I'm right here in the front. It's packed in here. I feel good. I feel good. Maybe I feel good all over. Now, we don't really have a docket put together because I said I'm going to come to New York City and I'm going to let New Yorkers. I'm going to let the real New Yorkers bring us the tea. But there's some things that Silky said to me in the back that she'd like for us to discuss before we really get, we got an hour. How long do we have to do this panel? An hour? 30 minutes? An hour? Why is no one ever ready? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So you said 30 minutes? Oh, it's an hour? Okay, I can take my shoe. Kick off my shoes and relax my feet. Yeah, okay. All right. So, I don't know if we're going, are we going to have any special people pop in? Do you, do you have any surprises for us? I, I invited you know, a, you, you know, you're full of surprises. I am full of surprises. I invited a few hoes. Well, let's, <laughs> let's see if they swing through. Listen, she said host, okay? She didn't say a few hoes. She said a few hosts. First off, we got the biggest, biggest surprise on the front row. Who is it? Ladies and gentlemen, Y'all don't know, Miss Mary is my mama. She may be T.S. mama, but she's my mama too. But in real life, my mama's at my booth selling stuff because, you know what, this is the new generation. We don't buy our mama houses. You gotta come work for that money. Hey! <laughs> or, or that's why you see Miss Mary on the road with me every week, honey. It don't it. She got to put in that time, effort, and energy. Yes, she do. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, have you guys been enjoying yourself here at Drag Hall? Yeah. Yeah, hey, baby, hey! Listen, I've had a good time here. It always brightens my heart every time I come to this place and I get to see so many different beautiful faces, so many different beautiful 
bodies and kids and stuff. It's just showing me that our community is so beautiful. And you don't just have to be a part, because I don't want to just loop in and say that you have to be gay to be a part of the LBGT community, because you can be, the LBGT community is the rainbow. Absolutely. It's the colors and stuff like that. It don't have anything to do, we have to separate sexuality and sexual orientation and attraction from being happy, because that's what gay is, it's happy, right? Absolutely. Are you happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. Are y'all happy? Yeah. Well, then you're gay. Real gay. I and that one right there is extra gay. Oh, oh with that hat on? Allegedly. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we here. We about to do the quick court, honey. We don't got nothing magic, nothing special. Listen, I'm sitting in the wrong thing. Uh, listen, I'm playing Silky today. Is this your name tag, Silky? Yes, that is. And you playing Tiesman? I'm playing Tiesman. You please it all? Oh, well, is this it? You, should I do it? Yes. Do you want to know how to really do it? Yes. Is it on? Yes. Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Well, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Rhonda, Scruff, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches, Christian Mingo, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison. I'm coming to you loud, live, and always, and forever, in color, from DragCon 2019, and we are at the Queen's Supreme Court in New York City. Make some more. Yeah. Now see, when you were on uh, on the show, I know that's what you tried to do. No, I did it, but they cut it out for time. Oh, they did. So you? Oh, did I did all of that plus a little extra. When I tell you I was extra, I did it all. I've been watching you forever. You wouldn't even believe that, but I've been watching you. You inspired me so much. When I went. When I did my walkthrough with RuPaul, she said, why are you, first of all, RuPaul said, you was the first one to make me excited the other day. I was actually the last person she talked to. And she's like, everybody else seems so boring, but she's like, I'm so excited that you're doing T.S. Madison. Hold and on, she said, minute, why are you doing T.S. Madison? Hold on, wait a minute. Now, did you catch that shade? <laughs> Girl. Go ahead, go ahead. But she said, why are you doing T.S. Madison? I said, I want to do somebody positive in our community. We get these opportunities to go on Snatch Game and everything, and we want to do everybody else but people in our community like we have not put a staple or anything within our community. And I was just like, T.S. Madison is one of the girls that has taught me so much. She, get a job, suck a dick, you know, like, for real. And some of you bitches need to do that and get out there uh, and start sitting there and hate on Now, you, you were sucking dick long before you met T.S. Madison, bro. I long not. before that, honey. I'm a church lady. <laughs> well, listen, you definitely would suck a dick if you was a church lady. I'm sorry, Miss Mary. No, I'm I sorry. was kneeling in prayer. I was kneeling in prayer. There's a difference. I'm sorry. I had to look over there, Miss Mary, because she's a church lady, but I told y'all before she could suck a golf ball through a straw, but you ain't heard that. Ah! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Theodora. God, I, God, strong. I want to say this, and I want to say this in front of everybody that's sitting in this room. I was very shocked when I, I heard the news, because I heard, you know how Reddit, and, and they put all the tea out of Reddit or whatever. And, no, I don't really look at Reddit, but I be seeing y'all come and use a 3765, kiss my ass, okay? <laughs> if you in here, mom, I'm going to be talking. Anyway, I'm sorry, kids in here. These shirts are cuss. You look at my last Instagram post. But I want to say when I when I, when I when I when I heard that when I heard it because I I got word of it and I was like wait somebody after all these years of step your pussy up and do we've twenty two inches that the girls walk on the show and they use because those are my tech lines. Um, um, you um, Surreal though. I found it, but step your pussy up and new weave twenty two inches and you know yas. You know, I made those things very popular. A lot of people have been using that stuff and they didn't know that that, it, that I'm a part of its origination, I'm a part of its origins. And, you know, sometimes it feels good for people to know where things derive from. And when I saw you, like, doing it and doing all the mannerisms and everything, you know, you almost had it, you almost did. But <laughs> when I watched you do it, I actually was at home and I, 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 I was in the corner and I, I cried a little bit because Sometimes as a trans woman and as being influential in your community and not mainstream, even though I, I am, but not mainstream, 
like they like people want you to be and not being the perfect example and not being you know the person that they want you to be in order for you to be the representative of something when i saw you doing that it made me cry just a little bit because i said i feel appreciated and i feel appreciated not just because you were doing something and making it known that it came that it, it originated with me but because it was someone from my community who, who said i appreciate you and you don't have to be cookie cutter and perfect to be an influence. You just gotta be an influence. Absolutely. And I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of you guys have been following me in this room from Vine. Yes. 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 If you've been following my career and following who I am from Vine and, and YouTube and all that stuff, you you guys have see I have evolved so much. Yeah. I've evolved because I had to realize that rooms like this loaded with people of all races and of all colors and creeds and kids, I was like, Master, you have made an impact on the world. So you got to clean some of that stuff up. <laughs> put some clothes on. You heard Beyonce. She said, Nasty, put some clothes on. I told her. But it was my duty, it became my duty and my responsibility to still be exactly who I am, but be mindful of the influence that I put out because as an elder in this thing, which is why I respect RuPaul so much, because RuPaul has opened up the doors and opened up the platforms for people of color and LBGT people to influence love, self-love, you know, hustle out here to people in a place where we're able to look at television, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and see ourselves in these things. Because usually we used to have to look to TV to be like, who was, I wanna see this person. Now we got, we got all the social platforms and stuff like that. And it, I just really felt so appreciated when you did that. And it just made me, close that goddamn. Y'all late, you know you ain't got no business being late. Somebody find my belt. And but it made me feel really good because now, you know, I feel like that I, I've always known I've had a place in the world, but it really made me know my place in the world. I love you and I love you. And I want to get want to give y'all the biggest love in the room. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. And we love you back. And I'm glad that you felt appreciated because you don't know the impacts that you've made on other people's lives. Like just to be who you are. And I literally went to Snatch Game and I ate them up. You did. Just to, you, they didn't even show you half the crazy shit I did. But I really went and ate them up and let them have it to where when we was walking off the set, the girls was like, you can wear red tomorrow, you gonna win Snatch Game. Every one of them said that. Oh. Um, and so you know what? So I can't accredit that to me and my, my being because I grew up watching you. So like before, when Facebook was doing live for only public figures, and you used to say that all the time. You got to be a public figure. You got to, to get, get that black. But, you know, but for real, yeah. like people, you know, our my generation tends to forget how they've gotten where they are. Oh, I did that. And no, you did that because you know what? At, at times, you know, we forget about our trans women too. Yeah, we do. And you's a trans woman. I am a trans woman of color. Of color that has influenced this entire room. Not only this room, like our generation, and they don't even know. Right. They don't even know. Right. So it was an honor for me to do you, and especially to win, because I was just like, oh, I'm going to be on the Queen's Court. Yeah. I had to keep that in for months, bitch. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Not only did, did she win, I won. And that just made me feel so good. We won together. Thank you, Silky. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you, Tia. Now, we got all that sentimental shit out the goddamn way. First up on the court ledge, y'all. Uh huh. I've been watching some stuff that's going on in the news, and I got something to say about it. Who on the docket? Ah! Ah! Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, you can have my mic, girl. Who that invited to the Puerto Rican party? Everybody gotta get charges, bitch. Shit. You know, I, look, I live for a good record. Oh. Let me go up here. I said, oh, I gotta go do this with them. Let me see that bar. Here, 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 here. Oh, that's you, apple juice. <laughs> Make 
extra nervous for T ass, y'all. Oh, okay, you, you can keep that, sister. It done, been, it done been on your lips, and I don't know where they been today. <laughs> no, I, it, we just made it. Bitch, I can't see you, darling. Oh, huh, get it? And get the shoe like this. Come on, man. Everybody say, Vangie. Vangie. Yeah, Y'all slippers, they got the little... Now, girl, you don't right. came up here and spilled the tea. I have had on heels all day. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, honey, we, this is our surprise guest, John. Yeah. My motherfucking neighbor. You oh, know we live next to each other. Where y'all live at? In West Hollywood with all the gays. Hollywood. And, I'm, and we, um, I'm taking to, uh, Silky to court as we speak. <laughs> what the hell? She be making too much noise, a lot of rockers. You know I live on top of her, so I go boom, boom, boom. Make sure that bitch what get up. The, uh, when Silky had brought the train over, Shut and up, don't they tell broke story. the bed, and I said, "Bitch, if this..." Wait a minute. So is Silky nutmeg ganache on the on the docket? Yes. What is she being charged with? Attempt murder. Where <laughs> 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 to? You been trying to attempt murder? Listen, to who? But that the train. The trade that took, they like that crazy shit. She said, they slap me around and all that. They like that 50 shades, fuck 50, they want all 75. Well shit, that's silky, baby. They want all 100 shades, baby, because that's two tons of fun over there. <laughs> yeah. Now listen, the first thing that I wanted to talk about since we're talking about things, honey, have you guys been watching Malik Yoba? Yeah. Yeah. Since, since I'm in New York, I want to talk a little bit about New York Undercover. Oh. Oh. What's that? Girl, Wait, like New York that's people? the man that liked the girls that came out. Well, he ain't undercover no more now, shit. He Wait, said, he's a specific person. Malik yeah. Yoba, you don't remember Malik Yoba from, from New York Undercover? You don't remember? Well, he liked the dog. He likes the girls. Well, he said he's trans attracted. I, I don't know if he, you know. Allegedly. You say he liked the girls with the what? With the balls or without? Oh, okay. Oh, he likes the girls with. Uh, oh, he oh. likes the the Wimbledon girls. Okay. <laughs> Girl, do he still got money? Cause I'm about to get paid for him. <laughs> Invite him upstairs, you know. Well, I wanted send him downstairs I, when I'm done. I, I wanted to bring him up on the situation because we're living in a time now where people are are being true to themselves. Uh, they are being public about you know what they are and who they like, and I do honestly applaud him for that. And I think we should applaud him for, yeah. for living in for living in who he is, and also coming to back for trans women and for trans attracted men. Yes. Right now, I'm finna play devil's advocate here because it wouldn't be right if I wasn't messy. Oh wait, and why we? Because now that we're talking about that, I yo, you seen the tea about the um boy that went and he uh was. Something happened. Whispered in my ear. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say it on the bottom. Whis whispered in my ear. Ah! Wait, come up and then. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know how the proper. I don't even know the proper way to say it. Um, everybody was posting about it. It was the boy. Some. Is that what it was? See, I didn't get the full. So how you already know what I'm Committed suicide because he liked the girls. Yes, and everybody taunted him, on and they were bullying him. Yeah, but this and this is why this is why Malik Yoba came forward, and he was like he he was you know he was defending uh, the boy, and he was saying that it's wrong for people to bully people for who they are and what they like on the inside because he himself is trans attractive. That's right. Now, Malik, I want to talk to you. Let me look at you on your eyes. And what you gonna say? When you was young, why you weren't saying that? You done got older, you still look nice, but I know them nuts is done dried up like prunes and raisins. <laughs> Honey, when you was fine, cute, and sexy on New York Undercover, child, why was you not... Wait a minute, you was. I'm sorry, let's go on to the next case. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, somebody else come out too? Uh, one of the NFL players? Yeah, he bisexual, got a white man. Girl, in the beginning. Oh, his wife. They never wrong with his credit, got a little better. Oh. <laughs> Shit, I'm trying girl, to find a white man too. Girl, they say he went from a 490 bitch to an 800 bitch in 30 minutes. Hey, 30 minutes, bitch. I got good credit for a black person, but I'm trying to get it at the 750s, bitch. <laughs> so you still using your social security when you ain't using RuPaul's social? Because <laughs> RuPaul got good credit. You don't see all these people here? <laughs> ain't nail bill yeah. lady, Ru house. Uh, uh, you, Ru got a husband. Yeah, George, oh fine ass George. Fine. So fine and tall. Ain't like 6'8"? I didn't say what? how. What? The hell? 
I like to be like mom and dad. Don't you be over there lusting after your mother's husband? He Girl, let me fine. tell you something. They fine. I take they, both of them. Let me tell y'all something. Honey. I tell them. When you have shrunk with your whole life, you you be like. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> Fuck that. I get both of them, honey. Let me tell you both of them. You know the mother and father? I, mother and father. And I'm a big daughter. <laughs> Edit that out. Please. <laughs> Wait, that's a legend, bitch. <laughs> that's a legend. I'm just playing. I'm, but I ain't lying. Bitch, if Rook Paul came around and paid off my student loan, bitch, I'd give him a piece. <laughs> bitch, I owe 90 And you know, still get the kind of bitch, she always, before she even get the check, she already um, know what she gonna spend it on. That's I'm true. gonna put the money on this because I gotta pay this, get this. I'm, I'm silky, how the fuck you already spend it before you even got it? We be she doing be it on big, big. Hold on, now, hold on. How manager? you gonna ask a question about how she gonna spend it before she got? You know that girl black. That's what we do. Bitch, ah! <laughs> be like, uh, got me like, when is this deposit coming in for this booking? I was like, I'm trying to pay my car. <laughs> I'm still trying to pay my car, so please call the booth nine three one. Cause right now my car is in layaway. <laughs> And I'm trying to get that bitch out. I know some of you wondering they ain't got layaway no more, but bitch, with you black as hell, they'll find a layaway for a car for you. So y'all come on. Wait a minute, you say you put a car on layaway? Bitch, I put a whole car. Uh, let me tell you, a whole Ford Escape 2013 fully loaded green. There you go. There you go. So please help me get my car layaway. Come and boost 931. Buy my shit. Girl, you couldn't put a Porsche Cayenne, honey, on layaway. You would've got a Ford Escape and put it on layaway. I was trying to be eco-friendly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Listen, I have somebody in the house that came to one of my live shows in New York City. Sister, come on up here, honey. You part of the man. Yes, baby. Cause she is ready, ain't she? She ready. She got some tea that she want to spill. She want to spill some tea. And we here in the room, we're going to deliberate over this hot tea. What's the hot tea? Come up here. Turn on. Please. Listen, Benji, turn on her mic. You turn know on. how to move. Come on, come the on. way you grip that. Wait, wait, wait. Grip it again, sister. Grip it again. Ain't she strong? <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Are you a top? <laughs> Who, Benji? Yeah. I'm bitch. The way she, bitch. she grabbed that. Bitch, now she talking about me getting the tray. Yeah. I done heard that bitch. That bitch be like, oh, give me that dick. Oh, give me that dick. Yeah. You, are, you told my business that I broke the bed, bitch. True. Uh, I, I, I did not break that bed. That bed was we loose. Pull up the picture, sister. <laughs> sister, I'm looking at your bag. You broke the bed. Yeah. <laughs> bitch, I was bitch, in that room was <laughs> The next, the next day, running downstairs, say, "Oh, bitch, let me tell, you, let me show you this. I have broke that bed, bitch. I, ooh, it, ooh, it was good." I said, "What the fuck, Silky? Yeah, I had to." I had to well, I that. know when I get to LA, who apartment I'm staying in. As soon as I get there. Why? You, which one? Yeah. Both of y'all. Let me tell you, come on, because the one yeah. that's always telling the tea is definitely the one doing the tea. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Silky, talking too damn much. I'd be like. Oh, never I, don't, I don't talk to this bitch. Don't, you find big no on live too, bitch. You forget we be on live, bitch. That like bitch always want to be live when I'm drunk and want to talk about my business. Yeah, well, yeah. it's good. I like the story. It's real good though. We have good stories. So you, got, you know, real good dramatic. Now. I, every time I get with a man, he want to experiment with me. I don't know why. I think because I'm on neat. That bitch said everybody want to fuck well, a fat bitch at least one time. Silky was dating a bunch of uh, straight men that. They, they were yeah, not to, they, well, no, ooh, we all do it. The fuck, ooh. No, they ain't no straight man. No, well, the straight, straight man are good. You already know what they want. I mean, it's what, like, what do they want? Dick and leave. Oh, hey, hey. allegedly. Allegedly. Please hold this down. Allegedly. Because you know what? They make you, I'm just like you, sister. I may look like mama, but I'm hung like daddy. <laughs> Yes, go ahead and retweet and repost that one, motherfucker. I ain't said she did. Not my, my Sister, come over here in front of this thing so they can tell you. So you from New York City. Sure is. I mean, all the way from New York City. So I know you bringing me some dirt. What's going on up here in New York City that the New Yorkers, the New York folk? Oh, wait a minute. How many people from New York City is in the house? <laughs> The block. Okay, so when she pulled this tea, y'all gonna know what she talking about. Is they gonna no, know? no, I need help. I work hard. You need Let me help. I'm ready to go. Spilling tea? All right. Yeah, cause I'm, I work hard. I got three jobs, man. I, I, I well, tea. shit, you live in New York City. You need four jobs. You need help spilling tea. Yeah, paying mortgage bills. You know, wait, you need help spilling tea. Yeah, I need help. I work hard. You 
give us that microphone. That means your team ain't gonna be true. You told me you was gonna you told me you was gonna bring me some dirt. Hold it dirt. Cause I got somebody in the house that will definitely spill some tea. We want some grease. Remind me though. We're gonna go back to Millie Gilbert. We know why Millie Gilbert is coming out saying he liked the trans girls. Why is that? Why why is that? Because his baby mother about to bring him out. You know, they like that. They call that. Shut up, that down. She about to tell him. That's the truth. Blow his ass up. You say his baby, you say his baby. my mama. His baby about to blow his ass up like 9 11. Yeah. So, so what you. Oh, you're, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's for sure. Girl, you sure. The last time. I repeated right, after right, my yeah. side. Oh, hold it, me, we bitch. Got, okay, everybody, thank you for okay. tuning in. We're going to ask him to restart the video. Yes. Hold the fuck no, up. What's that word? I got it. Blackmail. Turn the mic off. Blackmail, right? Blackmail, blackmail. Everybody want a coin. Okay, so what no, you're saying. I'm not a gag, but I, ain't, I mean, I ain't mad at it. So basically, what you're saying yes. is that it's not genuine. His, his come out. Or not genuine, no. Not genuine, no. No, no, no. But no, his no, support is not genuine. You're not genuine, no. Why you wait, like you said, why you wait till you H chant? And sagging. Oh, Eighty years old and sagging. And Caitlyn did it. Caitlyn did it too. Me talking about no Caitlyn. You said no old shaming. No come out. No come out shaming. No I'm sorry. I'm shaming Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. She got to be shamed. Caitlyn oh, Jenner. Oh, we ain't gonna do her like that. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. We ain't gonna do Caitlyn Jenner like that. Let me tell you something. Can I? Let's just say one thing about that bitch. What happened that with that bitch uh, transition overnight and she's not the real representation of a trans woman. See, you made a post a couple of weeks ago about, you said oh, yeah, your, tr your transition oh, is mental, physical, um, emotional, spiritual. And financial. And financial. Yeah. That no, bitch she, transition was financial. No, She no, no, missed the rest no, of them. No, 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 she came out, why no. she came out? Cause she had a car accident, she gotta beat that case. Wait, what? Who you mad? She, she had a car accident, she gotta beat that case. The allegedly. <laughs> not my ass. Well, okay, so we're not gonna do no coming out shame. We're not gonna do. But what you're saying is that his wife was gonna blackmail him. No, I said baby mother. Yeah, baby yeah. mother was gonna blackmail we're him. We're not gonna shame him. We're just gonna talk about it. Like we're not shaming. We're just talking about it. So <laughs> when did you come out? Um, well, my mom kind of was like, "Listen, I already know. <laughs> just make sure you be careful. I know you going to Parliament House and talk. I was going to, you know, for Florida. Shout out to everybody in Florida. Shout out, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, I was going out. Um, I feel like in high school I started coming out because I was dating this little boy. Okay. And I was little too. And so both of y'all was young, so we and don't. He, forced, he was like, if we, if I'm gonna date you, you gotta come out. Listen, because we don't need, out. we don't need no, nobody saying that you was having him when he was 14 and you was 24. No, hell no, I was little. I was in high school. So you was 18 and 14. Oh, I'm asking you a question. Nah, with you, with no questions, I don't trust you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck might come out your mouth. We gotta retract that shit. Oh, okay. um, but yeah, that was the first time I came out because I started dating this little boy. Both of us was little. Well, yo, you started dating a young man. And you're, I, we and was dating. Uh, yeah, age we was dating, and we was both in high school, the ninth grade. Okay, clear that out. And then yeah, he was like, "You need to come out because uh, we're gonna date." He was already out, like shout. <laughs> oh, and so I was like, "Okay," and then. You know, that didn't work out. And, and when did you come out, sister? Um, officially. <laughs> they saw her in the tag photo with right. Silky. Let me tell you, it was the Christmas of 2011. Oh, My grandmama, you know, her black ass, said, we need to have a family meeting. And I was like, we Not a family meeting. We don't do that type of shit. And she said, ain't you something you want to tell us? I said, yes. I'm graduating shit. from college in May. Yeah. Listen. And she was like, is sure it's something else you want to tell us? <laughs> and I was like, no. And she say, don't you want to tell everybody like boys? I was like, well, I like dick. Oh. And I said it just like that. And when I tell you, she almost had a heart attack like Seth for the sun. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I want to circle and back around. I want to circle one, back around. One last quick one. And instead of calling her Silky, they kept calling her Sissy. <laughs> My grandma would call me Sissy for a very long time. After and driving I found out that she was she knew that I was silky, but so it was good fun. fun for her to call me silky. So, 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 so let's circle this back around. You were, out, your grandmother outed you. But wait a minute, she didn't out me, because what's understood need no explanation. Oh, there we go. Come on for the quote, everybody on Google quote. But for real, what's understood need no explanation. I had a well, boyfriend well, when did you in high school. Out? Tell, tell me when you came out. I ain't come out. Uh, Honey, my brother, 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 my brother,
Your brother kicked you out? Yes, I'm minding my business. So we all got That's a hard day at work. My father called me crying. I'm his only girl. He like, what is this? I hear you like girls that look like men. I'm like, what are you talking about, daddy? And my mother in the background like, Moses, leave that girl alone. Leave that girl alone. And I'm like, daddy, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I heard you was up and down these walls like like a girl that like boys. Did you? So when I came out, you I stayed out. Me. Yep, I stayed the fuck out and got married to my wife. Stand up, baby. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Did you ever dip and dive in the other pond before you I came out? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm inconsistent. It ain't dip, dip and dive to Wait, me. Huh? Inconsistent, you know. You slide on some dick here. Oh, so you still, okay. No, 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 I'm still oh, shit. I'm you know what you got, eight? Uh, oh, I like that. I don't fuck my shit up. I said I was. And then old Leslie, she know all about me. I slide on some dick here, and I slide on some oh, No, you here. slid. Oh, slid, yeah. Okay. Slide slid. Past you know, past his baby. Yeah. You don't get your head busted, this bitch, and it ain't gonna be my fault. No, 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 I heard you say, I can't speak, I heard you say, yes, it was. Well, I said it slid, oh, not slide. These two, these two. But okay, it, so is it safe to say, everybody in this room, everybody has to come to that point where they where they make peace with themselves yes. first. Yes. And they should not be forced out by no. anybody. No. I don't think that no one should be forced out. No, not So him. if his if his baby mama or whoever it is related to him was gonna force him yes. out, I think that that is wrong. Yes. And that no one should be forced no, out. It's and disrespectful. I, it is very disrespectful. And, and I like the way Lil, Lil Nas yeah. I'm yeah. gonna oh, take right. my horse yeah. to the old town road. I'm gonna right. ride right. till I take yeah. no more. I'm so gonna ride out. that dick on 20 foes. I'm gonna <laughs> suck till I can't no more. I'm gonna See, follow it, drop it down, pick it up. Hey. Take all the dicks till I bust my nuts. Hey. Hey. Oh, shout out to you. Yeah. yeah. Wait so, a minute. So Wait hey. a minute. Can we put Bobby Lights on the dark? Oh, we who that in? What happened with Bobby oh. Lights, you know, oh. with his ass out trying to get little miles. Oh, that was hilarious, bitch. Yes, but I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I said, that's how I was there. I'm going to try to do somebody else. Hey, Pantene, thank you so much. 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 I love, I love you. you. We still gonna edit that part out. You know which one I'm gonna. I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> Y'all know which part. But I want to say I like in, in Lil Nas's situation. You know, he said I wanted to wait till you know I came and and then when I when I topped the charts and all this stuff, whatever. I felt like, hey, I'm gay. And I think that that was a very large power move for him because you know be, we're we're often criticized and ostracized and all those big words, honey. We kicked out. Because we're LBGTQIA, we see them letters members, yeah. and they won't allow us to achieve greatness, in, you know, in a, in a mainstream space. And I respected him more more for doing that, for getting to the top and then saying, "Boom!" Now, wait, one thing, top the chart. You think he's top? <laughs> he looked like it. Girl, Mr. Curious said he Wait, got some and I think he got pictures that had leaked out, didn't they? I don't know, but oh, a Curious said he got leaked. Who got my cell phone? I need Somebody pull it up. I think, and let me tell you. You know, a Curious... <laughs> Akira went to the VMAs, you know, she performed, uh -huh. and she was sitting next to him, and Akira said, Miss, uh, he got some meat. Yeah, How and she then saw she had disappeared. She said, you saw it through them pants, honey. Oh. We sat down, and said, you saw that old Oh, my room. dick 24. I'm not Girl, saying he got to have a big dick. He got to have some big dick and big balls to be singing country music like that. <laughs> Right, it and the top of the chart, top yeah. of the charts. Yeah, I think he'll time. I'm gonna to. take my. You know what? I take one to the team, and I'm gonna go find out. I wanna out. fuck you in 24, seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to sing the clean version. Goddamn, it up top everybody. Well, we don't know that. Now listen, <laughs> I'm looking at another New Yorker over here who I know very well. Uh -oh. Alexander Rogers, please come up here and pour us a little bit of good tea. Give us the grease. Oh. I want to know what's going on. I want to get some dirt, honey. This, this the floor is yours. Anybody got some dirt on the on the queens? Cause I want to know. Yeah. On oh, what queen? I, I don't know. I'm oh, not. we want to talk about your season before we get out of here. No, we got to uh, talk. Cause about that's who y'all want to get to put on the dock. Oh. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to. Hey y'all. Okay. Hey, Hi baby. It's so good to see you. Yes. Oh, get in the front, baby. Yeah. So testify. I do, I do have a little bit of tea. Y'all know Phaedra Parks from Housewives of Ooh, Phony Face Face. I love Phony Face Face. Y'all probably 
don't know, she's going to be on the new season of Marriage Boot Camp. No. With, With who? It's Apollo Nala? No, no. Hell, no, I'm gonna beat ass now. Uh, some I'm guy named Medina, okay. he's on to having to have nots. Well, he was, according to Claudia Jordan, who got him at Kim's this morning. Not anymore. But I want to know how Phaedra, who has a law firm, a mortuary, and some other type of sham business in Atlanta, how do you have, how do you have time to one day tone Capone in, what, Chicago about eight months ago? Now you're with this new guy for the past four months, going on marriage boot camp when you have two children you just had to have with Apollo. Where is your light-skinned husband, and why won't you let him take care of his children? Yeah. Oh. Well, people have to let him see them kids. She won't let him see them kids. Wait, he ain't gave nobody no feelings. Yeah, I'm still, oh, no, I'm we, we make them pour the tea. So, so, so you're not here for Phaedra at all? I don't like felons and I don't like thieves. Whoa. Oh. And also, while I have you on the line. Oh. Oh. Right, let's go. Right, 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 right. Get up. Let's talk about the fact that she sent that beautiful man to jail. Now, I'm sorry. When she found him and fucked him on that mattress after he got off the first time and she Come sent on, him then to, bitch, but you, you went on and time married time. him and stayed married to him so that the feds couldn't go after you because, after all, a husband and wife can never be compelled to testify against each other. Come on! So I'm praise the Lord. The woman is a snake and a scoundrel. I wouldn't trust her with my dog. Hey. 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 The shade is thick in here. Well, the shade, I'm mad. But, but continue, please. <laughs> Let me tell you something. For real, for real. This is my personal opinion. I think Phaedra Park should be president because my student loans will be erased. <laughs> you don't like thieves and fellas, but bitch. She'll get my student loans in race and I can get my car out of their way. If she put her husband in jail, you really think she gonna help you? She is only out for herself. She ain't even with her children. She has been trying to get back on Housewives Ooh. of Atlanta. When that didn't work, she went to California and got with this guy. So if she ain't even gonna raise her kids, giving you a Maya Denise Wilkes tea, where the hell is Jabari on girlfriends if anybody remembers that? Wait a minute, come on. I'm sorry, oh, wow. Phaedra, that a black girl, I'm not here for her. Yeah, I'm break it down. So you're not... You're not here from her legendary read against Kenya Hoard. I take it. I mean, Kenya Hoard has her own issue. Oh, wait, 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 is I'm, going to, I'm going to BravoCon and I'm going to meet Kenya Moore and I just hope I can like feel her face and see what that braille says. <laughs> I'm trying to do Kenya like that. Kenya Moho. What about Nene Lee? Oh, oh, Nene. Now that's a nasty bitch. <laughs> Nene Leakes is a moose. Oh. Oh. Talk about Nene's house for a minute. Come on. You've seen Nene's house. It's an airport. It's very large, but like this room, there ain't shit on her walls. Now I know you're making oh. money and you say you have like, all this taste and style, but you can't get any art. You can't get a rug. You can't even get real plans. I need you to get your fucking house together. Okay? Hey. I think that Ashley and Michael are bisexual swingers. Round your partner, do -si do swing that bed from to and fro. But, but I, I think that the guy, he did grab his ass, but I don't think he grabbed it then. I think they had been having a threesome, and he wanted to run a pocket. You know how you'll sleep with a man, and he'll ask you for money, and you'll look at him like you're crazy, and then you go on in the relationship, then he'll pull a stunt. Mm -hmm. I don't know about those things. <laughs> 
Uh -huh. What about when he said he would suck the uh, other husband? I would have sucked Ron's dick. I mean, that's a true statement. Okay. You said you would have done it? I would have sucked one Juan. Him. Only on, the only one on the show was Juan, not Michael. Not Michael. Even though he got $20 million, I can still get, get money on my own. Fuck that. <laughs> so, so here's my question to you, Alex. What about Andy when he put Titus Burgess on the uh, on the spot? Oh, I mean, Andy. Andy, wait, 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 he did what? Andy is always an asshole, but I'm gonna try to piss off my future boss, so there's only so far I'll go. <laughs> he, he ain't. Well, he, well, I don't want to get wait. banned from BravoCon before I get there. It's hell to get those oh, tickets. Well, listen. So somebody please turn off y'all uh, video recording devices before right. he says this. Just about tag. Time out. Do we got the Jake Young say Bravo in here? <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> If y'all drag race, so I, I need point. to know how did you feel about? Did you like the way Titus responded to him? Absolutely. He got, he got his ass together right quick, and then got him together more thoroughly on Instagram. Right. No, that was a read. Yeah. Before he deleted that. He oh, deleted. I mean, there's no way. He didn't know Screenshot. You, you, you listen. Let me tell you something. You know when you get Jesus on the line, you got to you got to call him up and why he on the line. You got to get it all. So I got to get it all out before you sit down. <laughs> what about uh? Come on, man. Whitney Williams situation. Oh, what is the tea? See, I don't like to make fun of addicts. No, but, but I will. I will. Like, okay. You're having like the worst hot girl summer ever. You're out here looking cocaine sweaty. You're out here in your teeth wig looking a goddamn mess. The woman needs help and I feel bad for her. She's got that, that sycophant Medina around her saying, oh yeah, Wendy's a wife, Wendy's a wife. No, she's getting divorced. And then that man now, they, he had a house, what, 15 minutes down the road that was $735,000. Not that I was running numbers or anything. <laughs> and she then says, oh, well, I couldn't leave Kevin because, you know, my child would have to move high schools. Well, he had already moved out, so what are you doing? She is in arrested development. She cannot reckon things with herself. She can't say, oh, I'm in a crumple ass marriage and maybe I want to leave. She couldn't say that until her business was on Front Street. You made your marriage such a big part of, you know, who you were as a businesswoman. That was an idiot move, and you knew he was cheating all this time. So I just, I feel bad for her. Okay, she, what about Harvey and Nick? Y'all already know that Nikki is my girl. Y'all know I, I am Nikki and I. They got an egg. And so she pulled me into that situation, and I respect her for that because there are a lot of people out there of, of my own color and of, and, of, and of a status that high that are not doing that. And she also shed light on my talent, and she shed light on my personality and things to over four million people. As you're doing for me right now in this room, so thank you. Yes. There you go. Okay. This is why. This is why I will, I will always stand behind her. I will always back it because there are people that won't do that. They will see your talent. They will see the greatness in you and they won't even, they'll be like, mm. I, listen, even though situations have transpired with in, in, in our whole little thing, whatever, I've always felt that you were a great, you were funny, you were talented when it came down, you were quick tongued and, and I've loved you from the first time that I saw you. Even all that stuff that went on, whatever, I don't care anything about that. I'm very happy. Ladies and gentlemen, please That's give a round serious. of applause for my baby, Alexander Ross. Uh -huh. And I disagree with him with Six, the niggas stuff. You fucked up, girl. But I still love Now your ass gotta sit down. Yes, sir. Promote what show? Tell us where you where they can find you at. Well, you're not, oh, but you can well, find me on YouTube. Uh, just look up Alexander Rogers. R O D G E R S. Yeah, um, <laughs> and then um, Instagram Alexander Rogers. Yeah, and I'm always on him. Actually, on live right yeah! now. So. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Y'all have beat Bridget into a horse. Why ain't talking about that shit? Hell no. Thank you. All right, her. But what's the saying? It ain't no more Bridget, it's Vanjie. No, no, my sister, we talk about things in the back, you scared now? Oh, we're not talking about this shit. Let me just go and say this. I know that's right. No, let me go. Okay. I didn't know that was my cue. I didn't know that was my cue. I just want to say this. Get a bitch. No, wait, hold on, wait. But you know. I want to say this, and then I'm going to say two things. With love. With love. With love. With a little hate, too. With a lot of love. Now, y'all got your phones out. Now, y'all get your phones out. Now, don't fucking you y'all got your phones. Because this is some real shit. And because Maddie has inspired my life, I'm going to read you and give you a lesson at the same time. And, Come on. And, and, Ooh, and we're I not reading you, we're teaching you. When I read we're not reading you, we're we helping you, we're you hoping you. If you I'm waiting. Yeah. There ain't nobody reading okay. the teacher. This is the team. I'm scared, <laughs> How many times did I audition for RuPaul's Drag Race? Oh. Wait. Now, wait, wait a minute. Would you like to say it again? I don't think they comprehend it. Right. How many times did I audition for RuPaul's Drag Race? Well, how many times you say, or how many times for real? <laughs> I, had, I started the application twice before, but I ain't seen it, no videos or nothing. It was awful, so you know, I, this is the first time I actually did everything. Now, when I got the call to come to RuPaul's Drag Race, I live in Chicago. <laughs> and my grandmother paid my rent for three months to go to RuPaul's Drag Race. True. My rent and my car note. So over six thousand dollars, and we my grandmother paid for me to go on RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh -huh. Now when I got to RuPaul's Drag Race, now here's the meat and potatoes. I cut the, the, the hell up because if I did not, my grandmother' money would have been in vain. Right. So that's why when I, I went me some silk, I understood, and that's why I was like, I fuck with you. We was ever, you know, fun. So you know when I. I had a good time. I, I, I was fun with all the people. I did everything I did. Now, this is where I'm going to help she you learn something. I was fun with all the people. Because I, I, some I of these hoes in this very same building get a promotion. And what they think, they so high that they start going to work late. They take long, long Hold on, breaks. hold on, hold on. Y'all not getting uh -oh. this. This is tea. This is real tea. Y'all better you, get you going to work late? But who? Wait, 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 who? Wait, who? Don't you feel like uh, this worse? Who? The, the, the hoes in church. <laughs> they go to work late. They take long lunch breaks. They so we not naming no names. We not putting nobody on top. So we just I put think, actions on top. No, I'm just gonna say some hoes. They know the hoes know who they are. Okay, give us. But this is what I'm saying the about the hoes. This is what I'm saying about the hoes. I felt like there was some of you hoes take an opportunity and you snooze on it. I went to RuPaul's Drag Race and used the opportunity which got me standing before you, and you bitches gave me hate. Yeah. They gave you uh, what? They, they, so, so what they, they gave, gave me hate. They still give me hate. H A T E. That hey, RuPaul hey, left me on the hey. show because. And you know I was fun and delightful. Like I didn't win too many, ch three mini challenges and two Maxi challenges. Ma the Maxi challenge, Maxi bitch. <laughs> you know, like your Maxi pad. Yes, girl. I was in the bathroom changing my. Like, pad. like, like I wasn't on um, the winning teams for dance challenges a lot of time. I just started screwing up the last three episodes. That's true. And when RuPaul said, man, I said, oh shit, they gonna send my black ass home. I had already planned in my mind what I was gonna do for people going to Chicago, but it was through the grace of God because I was faithful. See, when you're faithful of a few things, he'll make you ruler over me. I'm gonna shout to the And because I was faithful of RuPaul's Drag Race, yeah. I'm booked and blessed. Oh. Wait a minute. Booked, blessed, and bougie. Yeah. But you bitches that gave me hate, I want you to know one thing. What? And one thing go, baby. <laughs> Attitude check, fuck you and your mama, bitch. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something, bitch. Y'all can't keep a good hold down. Did y'all not know that? I don't walk around drag racing, drag car with my head held high. With my shoes off, cause you gonna read me, bitch. Read me. Read the dog shit. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> it was falling. It's supposed to dingle so, up. So, so, you know what? You, you, you don't want to give me what I want you to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ask me the question, bitch, because you know I need help. That was my inspiration moment. Now, when I sit down in this chair, Messy, Messy Silky that was on the show. Well, that's what we want. We want Messy Silky that was on the show. So Messy Silky. Oh, so what's up? We gotta wrap it up. No, we wrap the shit up. Oh, that's that's the hell now. You, you didn't realize what bitches you brought up here, bitch. We got Tim.
minutes. All right. I'm not your work, wait, 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 wait. You gonna make these last 10 minutes count. So still specific people. Some of your favorites would be your favorites if they showed it like what really happened. Ooh. I'm just saying, I didn't wear corsets every week. Ooh. Wait a minute, I didn't, I didn't need them. I just got in trouble for it. Wait a minute, who wore corsets every week? I didn't collect bones and be messy the whole season. Now that the season's over, they, I'm sure they got they got a photo grid of every runway. Look at my run, uh, all the runways. Yeah, I, mean, I got three, four, five of them. <laughs> now do the math and look at everybody else. And <laughs> you was criticized, ostracized, talking about for a, a bathing suit. But it, it's signature, it's signature, right? And for you bitches that told me I was the new Latrice Royale wearing a gown every week, fuck you. <laughs> because you know what? You need to learn how to do math. There are 12 episodes that I was in, I wore three gowns. That means one fourth of the runways, I wore a gown. Okay. A quarter. Well, well then here's the question Eight I got. I, I, I don't want to dig deep where it gets real. Real? real? Where the, where the, where the, where the spoon these bitches gets, don't pay my bill? Where the spoon gets real shitty. I don't want to dig too deep with that. I'm just going to scrape the top. Silky, yes. You have uh, endured lots of hate, uh, hate messages, yes, racism, a lot of racism, and you still manage to secure your bag. Because <laughs> when they go low, I go high. Knowing now, what would you have done different on the show? Knowing what you know now, what would you have done different on the show? I would have talked more shit. <laughs> no, seriously. When I was on the show, I took it from a perspective of the dressing room. Like how we in the dressing room, we cut up, we key key, we breeze down. But I would have told more of the truth. That episode, Vanjie popped off, which y'all did see. Vanjie told me, Silky, let the cameras do it for you. You sit back and don't say nothing. And I was in the back like, hmm. I was trying to mediate. She was trying to mediate. But I, what I would I should have told the truth about a lot of things because it always the cameras well I won't say the cameras but how y'all perceive it I started and I poked at people. But y'all never saw when people poked at me. I was a big black girl from the very beginning that said I was an educated girl. And people tried everything they could to tear me down from that to make it seem like it wasn't true. I've had deaths from the fandom and from the cast. So from the fandom, it's like, your degrees ain't real. Um, you ain't this real person. You're Islamophobic, transphobic, homophobic. Everything's self-hating, basically. Y'all see the articles came out. People, people would hate you so much that they would say anything, put it up for five minutes, and take it down. And I still, Instinct Magazine can suck my dick. Just that, that serious because they put an article up and they ran with it for months and months and months and it just simply wasn't true. And it got people looking Wait, at me. I don't think they got the, they don't know which, what magazine? Instinct Magazine. I'm going to always put my foot on their neck. Because Instinct Magazine put an article out that wasn't true. And it makes people, it's, it's, it's not true. You're, you're a part of the gay community where things are happening and you're supposed to be a news source where people come out with the Me Too movement. For real, you minimize their stories because you post things that are not true. So, so basically, they, spent, they spun a narrative about you that was not true. Absolutely. And every week, they had a new story coming out about me. So you yes, think they that they were a part of trying to defam defame your character? Absolutely, or? because going into when you saw the Meet the Queens, most people said that's going to be the first plus size girl to win. Mm -hmm. And you noticed yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was myself in the Meet the Queens like I was on the show, right? Why didn't y'all like me? I didn't understand why the girls, like the ones that, you know, when we came into the workroom, why they were so bothered by Suki. I thought she was hilarious. I was like, bitch, let her be, let her be her, let her live her life. Bitch, if she don't want to work on her costume, go, like, why the fuck everybody so, I didn't understand it. I but was like, here's the real like, shade. The kind of people I, you know, I but here's the real shade. The sewing machines are from season two. Whoa. Oh. Now, now, I'm just telling you real tea. So the girls read me, 
but I'm the fucking mechanic trying to get these sewing machines to work. They ain't show that shit on camera. We, like, have, we have like four, we had like maybe five sewing machines. So we, we, had to take, we had like take turns. We had to take turns. Out of the five, not all of them. Now, Vanja, you tell the truth, because what you've been saying was, was silky. When it comes to a challenge, what, what you got to do first? What did you find well, out? After a few weeks, I started to, I was like, Silky, you, I would, girl, come on, we gotta get this, come on, let's get your outfit, what we gonna do? And I started to realize, Silky cannot, her ju creative juices don't work until she get her good hot plate. So bitch, a lot of the time, no, it's for real. So she'll be over there with the paper and she'll be throwing shit around over it. And I was like, oh, we gotta go get her something to eat. So Medicare will go and find something, <laughs> bring it back. So when she did the walkthrough with RuPaul, she, you know, she will be able to make some shit up. Yeah, because I had one crazy run through that was going to send my ass home. I had to tell Ro Paul, send me home. And I said, damn, bitch, are you crazy? And I said, if I'm in the bottom, send me home, Ro Paul. I mean, if I'm in the bottom, let me lip sync. But you put me in the bottom. Man. She was so, so to sum it all up, you do the whole thing all over again. If you had to. That don't take a look. What a different group of girls. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, maybe well, Vanjie, the same question goes for you. Would you do the same? Would you do it all? She did. Well, for a third time. Shit. I mean, I would go back with those. I would definitely pay attention to what you know they the critiques were. But um, for me, I nothing's guaranteed or nothing's promised. So I was just happy to be able to come back, and then I got to like meet Silky and Akira and like grow close bond. So of course I would do it again because I, I mean. Besides winning, the whole experience is the win. I mean, for me, at least, I bitch, because I had fun. I was geeky in, and bitch stressed out and all, but I wouldn't change it for the world. You could, uh, you know, Michelle could have her foot in my ass the entire time, but I would always respect it, because I'm like, well, at least you pushing me um, somewhere I don't even see myself yet. So, bitch, that means you see something in me, um, work. I'll go back and, you know, oh, okay. come back and make okay, I say one thing before we close. I was always grateful and happy. Like, I was, I'm, you know. I think I would do it again. But the reality of it is, everything you saw on the show came from my closet. During that time, I didn't have the coins. I didn't have designers throwing me things. I didn't have that. Other girls had designers throwing them this, that, hair. I didn't have that. So everything you saw got me to the top four. So that means I've been doing some type of drag right to get me all the way to the top four. Did you steal from Joanne? No, I did not. <laughs> That's a lot. Which I'll fail to forget is... I had a nine. To, I had a career before Drag Race, and if you take Drag Race away and drag away, I have a career after Drag Race. So that's the one thing that some of you hoes need to realize, because when you be online telling these promoters not to bring me, I'm like, bitch, do you not know I can go and get me a nine to five, bitch, and make the same amount of? I can become your boss, bitch. I got a master's degree, and I did get accepted to the PhD program. So, bitch. Don't, don't have me coming to be your boss, bitch. Because you know what? Every, that, I think that's the worst fear for every bitch in the world. What is it? To have a big black queen be your boss. Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you so much for coming to our panel today. This has been the Queen Supreme Court. Thank you so much to my girl, Silky Nutmeg Hanad. Thank you so much to Vanessa Vanjie Mattel. Thank you, Miss Mary. Thank you, Robin. Thank you so much. We love you so much. Thank you for coming, child. Good night. Wait a minute. Hold up, bitches. Y'all, we trying to get this shit out of that way. And ain't nobody been in my booth all day because I've been gone. <laughs> so go to 931. $30 minimum. I'm going to let you bitches know up front. Y'all going to keep yelling at my mama. $30 minimum get a little picture, bitch. But when you come back, I make sure you have a good time. All right. We love you guys. Y'all have fun at Grand Con. Woo! Hey, what's my name? I'm going on. T.S. Madison Boofers, right across my head, Avengers 3000. Y'all have fun at 954. So y'all come see us and purchase some shit. We trying to get this car in there way home. I'm going to ride that in. <laughs> has been a T.S. Madison and R.D.E. Multimedia Group presentation.